Hi, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk and from Boxings.com and here I have the Samsung Pixel 12 uh, which I'm going to just unbox for you now. The original Samsung Pixel has been really popular for Samsung and uh, the Pixel 12 obviously hopes to um, sort of piggyback on that success and um, this particular handset has been upgraded to have a 12 megapixel camera and uh, Samsung say that it is the world's first mobile phone to have a 12 megapixel camera so that's pretty cool. We'll have a look at that in a bit more detail in a second. So also in the box we have the PC Studio software. We then have the user manual which is quite small and there's also the warranty card on the back of that. We have a case which uh, looks quite decent. It's a slip style sort of more of like more like a pouch and that pops in like so. so. Notice that the camera does poke out the back even while in the case and I guess that makes the enables them to make the case a little bit smaller. But it's uh, it's just a case, it's not uh, no belt loop or anything like that, just to protect the handset itself. We then have a wired headset adapter, so we have like a micro USB style connector on one end, a uh, cable and then we have this adapter with a push button and a clip for clipping onto clothing. Then there is a 3.5mm headphone socket on the top. So we can in plug in standard headphones um, with this adapter rather than having to use uh, the supplied headphones. And you'll notice there is no volume control. And uh, it's a bit of a shame that there isn't actually a 3.5mm headphone socket on the, cat on the handset itself, but you do get the adapter. We have a USB to micro USB sync and charge cable connects up to the computer. And then headphones themselves, which have a standard three and a half mil jack on one end, a short length of cable because they are designed to work with that adapter that's supplied, and then the headphones, which are full in in ear style headphones. Now these are the same sort of headphones that you get with uh, most of the Samsung handsets now. And I can say they are actually quite good, among the best headphones that I've seen supplied or heard supplied with uh, any handset. And there's a battery which is fairly small, it's a thousand milliamp hour battery. Then have a memory card and a memory card adapter. So we have an SD to micro SD adapter and a two gig, two gig micro SD card supplied in the box. That's quite good that that is uh, provided. Then finally we have the charger, which is a micro USB style all charger, pretty standard. So let's take a look at the handset itself. We'll peel off this screen protector, which has uh, got bubbles on it under it. So the handset itself, first of all, we have a 3.1 inch display, which is an AMO LED display, which is quite good. Forward facing VJ camera for your video conferencing, fairly large loudspeaker there. Below the screen you have a series of keys, so you have your phone keys and a menu button. Down the left hand side, we have a cover over the micro SD card socket. Then there is a lock button. Nothing we can speak of on the bottom aside from the hole for the microphone. On the other side, on the right hand side, we have a dedicated camera button and a camera application button. So one launches the camera application and one is effectively um, the actual button for the shutter release. And like most you know, digital cameras, it does have like a two stage button, so one for focus and one to take the picture. Then there is an up and down rocker here for your zoom. It has actually got a, a digital zoom rather than an optical zoom, um, but that's how you control it there. It's quite cool that it's actually on buttons rather than on screen. Then there is a xenon flash, a proper flash for taking pictures, and then obviously is our 12 megapixel camera here, just slightly bulbous out the back, probably because it is 12 megapixels. Also another little sensor or light there. And uh, obviously we have you know, just a stick on about there that can be removed. On top of the handset we have another cover which is over the micro USB connector there. And then we have a button to actually release the back cover. Back cover pops off like so. Our SIM card goes just underneath here, just in that gap. And then obviously the battery pops in just like that. And then the back cover back on. The actual back cover is metal, which is quite good. Good to see that being sort of made quite well and quite sturdy. So if we just power on. And while we wait for that to start, just run down the rest of the specification. Let's say MO LED display, which is actually a 16, 16 million colour display. Quite good. 
quite bad for GSM and dual band for HSDPA. So you can use it pretty much throughout the world. And uh, HSDPA supports up to 7.2 megabits per second, depending on your network connectivity. And the right here USB connector on top also does support TV out, which is quite good. We have Bluetooth 2.1 with EDR support. Wi-Fi, which supports 802.11b and G connectivity. Uh, I guess the best feature though of the handset is going to be the 12 megapixel camera. We'll obviously have to talk about that in a bit more detail when it comes to do the review. So, we want to tap the centre of the screen. It does actually mention the stylus here, and now I can't see the stylus actually attached to the device anywhere. Uh, no, and there wasn't a, a stylus in the box, so we'll have to go through and use our finger and hopefully get away with it. Yes, save our settings. I don't know if you can make it out on the video here, but that display is exceptionally bright and uh, the colours are exceptionally good because of that AMO LED display. Now we do have Samsung standard user interface, so if you've seen other Samsung handsets, you'll no doubt be familiar with this. So we have our main items here in the menu, uh, including camera, media, browser and settings. And then we can go to the next tab, which has things like music, games, uh, stopwatch, video editor, video editor and so on. Uh, and then we have our Wi-Fi, downloads, world clock, SIM applications and so forth. So if we go to settings, obviously this is all skin to have our phone profiles, display and backlight, uh, date and time, phone settings and so on. And we go back and we pop into the camera. And as soon as we turn on the camera application, you'll notice that the lens cover has automatically opened. And uh, if we take a picture, take a picture like so. First stage is for your autofocus, second stage actually takes the picture. The other cool thing is if we want to focus on a particular object in the shot, we can actually just hold our finger on the display and it will actually select our focus on that item. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it there because it's a bit awkward um, shooting downwards, but uh, the object is being tracked. So as I move around, the green box is actually following around or clo fairly closely following around the object that I'm focusing on. So that's pretty cool. So we'll talk about that in a bit more detail when it comes to the full review. We can also launch our menu with a button on the screen, as well as using the button below. And then we've got our keypad, an extremely sensitive touch screen that we've got here, um, which is quite cool, very, very light touch that's uh, required there. We have a phone book, obviously contacts currently empty, our messaging window for you know writing email, and obviously our incoming email will be shown in here, and SMS. Then we have the widget bar down the side, which we can turn on. So we can add widgets onto the display, so we can add the clock, we can add um, calendar, and then we can turn the widget, widget bar off, and we can move the widgets around the display, so we can have a calendar up here, and a calendar down there, a clock up there, like so, and obviously we can customise that. Then we can actually have three different pages, so we can have various widgets on different pages for different things, so that's quite cool. So you can have like one main page with your date and your calendar on and then other pages with other sort of more useful applications on there. So that is a very very quick tour of the Samsung Pixel 12. We'll have a full review on tracymat.co.uk for you over the next couple of weeks and if you're a fan of our unboxing videos check out the others that we have on unboxings.com.